another game in a new series is here, this time launching with a new console, the Wii U. Is it a superb masterpiece or is it lackluster like its predecessor, New Super Mario Bros. 2? Find out in my full review of New Super Mario Bros. U. When it comes to Mario games, story isn't its main focus. But this time around, the story changes up slightly. This time, Bowser throws Mario and crew to the outskirts of the Mushroom Kingdom, keeping Peach captive in her own castle. You must travel back to save her. Not really different than other games, but it's a nice change. New Super Mario Bros. U is platforming at its best. Levels are well designed and are longer than levels in the new series past. Levels do, however, use some old gimmicks already seen before, but this time around, they're used in much more clever ways. There's also new level gimmicks, like spinning a screw platform for it to move, among others. Even boss battles are better and harder this time around. Mario U is also the hardest in the series. Something that fans have been wanting. Sure, you'll never run out of lives, but you can start losing them as much as you gain them at times. Power-ups mostly stay the same as New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but there is a new addition, the Flying Squirrel Suit. This power-up allows Mario to glide, float, projectile himself in the air, and stick to walls for a short period of time. It comes in handy when it comes to tricky platforming and reaching secret areas and getting star coins. Another new addition to the game are Baby Yoshis, each with their own unique abilities. Blue Baby Yoshi spits out bubbles that turn enemies into coins and also allowing you to get a slight hop from them. Yellow Baby Yoshi stun enemies when rattled, also lighting up dark areas and pink baby Yoshi's blimp into a balloon, allowing you to float and ascend. Baby Yoshi's can follow you from level to level, as long as you don't lose them or die with them. All are a blast to play with, though Bubble Yoshi is kind of overpowered. There's also adult Yoshi's, but like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, they're only in certain levels and can't follow you out of them, which sucks. Gameplay is overall what you'd expect, perfect physics, great platforming, and unique gimmicks, and level design. You can grab a few friends and play together. Sure, it's chaotic, but it's great fun, unless you're trying to be serious, of course. And just to clarify, you can only be Mario in single player. Gamepad users can also place blocks to help their fellow gamers. It doesn't really add much to the experience, but it's a neat feature, especially if you're playing with an amateur player. New Super Mario Bros. U doesn't push the Wii U's hardware to its limits, but you can't deny that Mario in HD isn't beautiful. The art style isn't much different from its predecessors, but having better lighting, shadows, and backgrounds makes a world of difference. Fireballs look more like fire instead of red and yellow swirly circles, and environments look more organic than ever. Speaking of environments, they're more of a fresh breath of air than the environments in the older new games, having much more detail and thought into them. This can also be seen in the world map, which is seamless for the first time since Super Mario World. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. Music in New Super Mario Bros. U is a huge disappointment. There are a handful of new songs, but 90% of them are recycled from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The overworld theme and world map themes are new, some remixed depending on the theme of the level or map, but overall all the same. It makes you wonder why Nintendo didn't make new music and are constantly reusing the past game's music. Knowing Nintendo can make great, memorable tunes for Mario does nothing but puzzles you. There's really no excuse. It's a crying shame.
New Super Mario Bros. U has the most extra content in any Mario platformer ever. First off, after beating the game, you unlock a special world that can be accessed after collecting all the star coins. But even better, there's new special modes that you can play before or after you beat the game. Challenge mode, boost rush mode, and coin battle. Challenge mode has you doing various awesome and unique tasks to get a gold, silver, or bronze medal in. Challenges, for example, are speed running through a course as fast as possible, completing a level with a squirrel suit without touching the ground, getting through a course without killing enemies, and more. These can be very brutal in their difficulty and really test your skills if you're a veteran of platformers. It could cause you to throw your gamepad out the window, but it's all great fun and extremely addicting. It's a more than welcomed addition since this is something fans have been begging for. Boost Rush Mode has you going through levels, except this time they auto scroll. The more coins you collect, the faster it scrolls. Seems simple until you're trying to keep up but die from getting crushed or forced to jump into a pit from a rush jump. Coin Battle is the same as it's ever been, but this time you can place where you want coins to be available using a gamepad. It can get boring, but it has its fun times. It's a dream come true to have these extras in a Mario game. It adds an unprecedented amount of replay value to the game. It'll have you coming back for a long time. New Super Mario Bros. U has a lot going for it, and it's truly a platformer you don't want to miss. Having the highest replay value and modes, New Super Mario Bros. U has a lot going for it, and it's truly a platformer you don't want to miss. Having the highest replay value and modes than in any Mario platformer makes it an instant classic. There are some downfalls like the lackluster music, but the pros outshine the cons in a landslide. One of the best 2D Mario platformers since Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. New Super Mario Bros. U gets a 9.5 out of 10.